Hey everyone, Eduardo here back with another video and I recently took a trip to Hawaii and for my visit there, I took with me the Sony a7C. If you watched my previous street photography video using the a7C, then you know that I have designated this camera to be my point and shoot slash travel slash street photography camera due to its compact size. In that video, I did mention that one of the drawbacks or complaints I have with this camera is its grip design. Before I went on this trip, I knew I would want to do a lot of walking around and hiking, and so I purchased a $12 thumb grip from Amazon for the Sony a7C. Now this thumb grip is made of aluminum alloy and it's very lightweight, something I was very happy about because I did not want to add any extra bulk or weight to the camera, which is why I didn't go with something like, say, the small rig cage, for example. I also didn't go with that option because it costs five times more and it's meant for those looking to use the Sony a7C as a full-fledged video camera, which is something I'm not particularly interested in. So how did this thumb grip perform? Well, first and foremost, it did what it's supposed to do, which is it provided me with a better feel and handling of the camera body. The main outcome of this I noticed was that I was able to enjoy using the camera a lot more than I previously had, and a side effect of that was that it also allowed me to focus on taking in my surroundings without having to worry in the back of my head about keeping such a tight grip on the camera while walking around. Because this grip allows my thumb to be extended out and not be balled up with the rest of my fingers almost like a fist, I found it to be a lot more comfortable to hold the camera. Now this thumb grip is not a perfect fit lengthwise and I've noticed that there's a bit of a gap at the top which leaves the hot shoe pins just slightly exposed. So this is definitely something you wouldn't want if you plan on using this camera along with this grip during rainy conditions as the chances of water going through and ruining the pins is likely. Widthwise, it seems to be a snug fit which will cause some to have trouble removing the grip once it's inserted but I found that wiggling it side to side is the easiest way to take it off. Another thing to note with this accessory is where the thumb grip actually lands, and that is right above the back dial. During my trip, this did become not necessarily annoying, but it was something that I could not stop noticing. Whenever I needed to access that dial, I did feel that it had become more obstructed with this grip on. It would be great if the grip spot was extended just a little bit more to the right, but I can definitely see the thought process of this design because where your thumb ends up landing, you can just slide it right down to that dial and start turning those settings. It just sucks that you kind of have to like dig your thumb in now to access that dial as opposed to without the grip, it was just wide open. Overall though, I'm very pleased with this thumb grip for the Sony a7C, especially for just $12. It improves on the camera's grip design without making the body heavier or bulkier and it makes the experience of using this camera a bit more enjoyable for me. If you find yourself feeling the same way I did when I first got the a7C in regards to its small grip, then I would highly recommend you try out this accessory. It's inexpensive and it just might change your overall feelings towards this camera. Now if only I can find something to help with that super tiny rangefinder, then I'd be all set. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. If you found it helpful and you enjoyed it, I would appreciate if you give it a like and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.